Welcome back to Ozarks Fox CM. Hey, Kelly, do you see that giant ray of sunshine coming from California? I sure do. Oh, do well, what? we forgot. We were going to sing him a song. We'll do that next week. Okay. Okay, next week. But that giant ray of sunshine is coming, and it's Michael Babcock from TMZ. Oh, good morning. <laughs> good morning, guys. Michael, and we may have written you a song. We wrote you a song, I, I, I and we forgot wait. to sing it. I want to hear the song. We'll do it next I'm, week. I'm dying to hear Next week. But if you'll make me wait till next week, I, I'm okay with that. Okay. <laughs> we'll have to. We didn't practice. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, so what's making headlines, Mr. Babcock? Ooh, all right. We got a big one. We got a big celebrity divorce uh, this week. Uh, unfortunately, we never want to see people uh, break up who are married. But, uh, of course, we were talking about Cardi B and Offset, uh, definitely the most powerful couple in hip-hop, one of the most powerful couples in all of pop culture. And Cardi B filed for divorce. Uh, now, they haven't been married all that long. They were married back in uh, September of 2017, and uh, they have a little baby girl culture. And uh, a lot of people were surprised that Cardi uh, in Georgia actually filed for divorce, made it very clear that there was going to be no reconciliation here, that this marriage uh, was over, uh, irreconcilable differences. And um, there were some perplexing things on the divorce petition. Cardi was asking for primary physical, um, uh, uh, I can't remember the word right Custody. now. She, she wanted to make sure, <laughs> my mind goes, she wanted to make sure that she was, uh, she had custody of culture and she was taking care of her, which is always a telltale sign that something could be wrong in the relationship if one parent doesn't want the other to have custody of their child. Right. She was also asking for child support. Cardi B is probably right now the highest earning, uh, you know, uh, at least female in music. Um, so that was a little perplexing as well. Well, now we have learned that Cardi had no idea that her attorney was going to uh, uh, angle the divorce petition in this way. And she has ordered her attorney to completely redo uh, this thing and uh, make it clear that she is very happy to uh, split custody of culture so they can uh, both co-parent her. She also wanted it taken out that she does, uh, she does not want uh, any kind of child support uh, to be paid. So uh, this is a situation where Cardi really didn't know what was going on with her attorney, and uh, he filed stuff that she didn't want in the divorce petition, and, and, and she has basically said, hey, that's wrong, let's correct this. So now this thing looks a whole lot more amicable than it did originally when Cardi filed and was asking for all these things that made it seem like their relationship was in a really bad way. How can you not, your attorney, not know what you want? It, good question. <laughs> Look, it's, uh, is it possible that Cardi said something and then she changed her mind? Uh, and, uh, you know, or there was, you know, there was a blowback. There was a negative reaction from fans. And then she said, hey, let's 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 go about uh, this in a different way. And then blamed it on the attorney. <laughs> and then she blames the poor attorney. Yeah. And then she blames the attorney. Oh, right. Boy. Exactly. <laughs> so the attorney gets thrown under the bus. But uh, nonetheless, uh, it looks like the, they're, they're not, uh, you know, at least going to war with each other, which is good. That is good. Yeah, I, that okay, is good. Michael, I'm sorry. I'm just going to focus on your cat for one second. <laughs> because our viewers see, love yeah, your can cats. You, can you see him? <laughs> if, if I seem distracted, because he's like trying to attack me. <laughs> <laughs> Well, but, we can't see that, so yes. that's good. Okay, all right, good. Before good, we good. move on, though, I, I'll be honest, Michael. I totally forgot, because Cardi B is so famous and so well-known and so rich, I forgot she was even married until the divorce statement came out yesterday. Seriously? I forgot she was married yeah. offset. And, and, and her husband, right, and her husband is a pretty big star, too, which is funny. But, it is. Uh, I, I, these days, I think, you know, everybody is in, uh, in Cardi's shadow. She is just so, she's become so big, so popular, so influential. She's talking to presidential candidates. Uh, mm -hmm. She's, uh, you know, a lot of people having a bad 2020. Cardi B is doing all right, though. All right. Very yes. good. All right. We'll move what on. Else? Yeah. What else we got? Yeah, yeah. So Travis Scott has actually, he's partnered with McDonald's. Travis Scott, obviously, uh, another a big rapper. He is part. He is uh, partnered with McDonald's, and he has this. Uh, he has this uh, cactus, uh, cactus Jack meal, which is his nickname. And it all really is is you get like uh, you get a quarter pounder with cheese, and it comes with like bacon and mustard and ketchup, and you get French fries with barbecue sauce and a Sprite. Anyway, he has this meal with McDonald's. So he went to a McDonald's in a town called Downey, California, and people found out. Fans found out that he was there. And 500 people ascended upon the McDonald's, and uh, the police were called. Nobody really knew what was going on. And just all of a sudden, during a pandemic, there was this massive gathering of people. 
And uh, so I said, like, the police came, they broke up the party. Well, they have now fined Travis Scott. They have, uh, uh, they have issued him two citations. And I uh, get this, I hope you can pay. They're, they're two $100 citations. So oh, he's that's going it? to be that's okay. All? Okay. So, did, now, let me ask, ask you, did he invite those people or they just found out he was there and then came over? They, 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 he was on social media. Oh. Word also got out that he was going to be there. So it was a combination of both. But for a gathering that large, you, you know, you're supposed to have different types of permits. And he didn't have any of that stuff. So the police came. The McDonald's got a ticket. And so did uh, Travis. But uh, just gotta... funny, that, funny that $200 uh, like that's going to make any dent in Travis's uh, pocket. Yeah. You got to be responsible when you're a big star these days. Can't just be you know, going out and inviting folks everywhere. Especially during a pandemic, because there was a lot I mean. of people who were out there that didn't have masks on and yeah. they weren't so distancing. So you don't want someone to get sick over a uh, Michael, be honest. Every time you post, you're going to the gas station. Millions of people show up to see you getting <laughs> gas, right? Don't call him out. He, you don't want him to get a ticket. I know that Michael Babcock's getting gas right now. <laughs> I wish I was that popular. Uh, <laughs> I, I got one more for you if you yes. want it. I don't know if we're out of time or not. No, we're good. We're yes, good. We're good. Okay, so uh, this one, this one uh, is very interesting. So uh, there is a uh, a twenty four hour freeze that is uh, happening today on Instagram, and a lot of big celebrities are behind this. Kim Kardashian, Jamie Foxx, uh, Ashton Kutcher, Leonardo DiCaprio, and a bunch of other A list stars. And uh, the, uh, the beef here is that uh, a lot of these celebrities feel like Facebook, um, you know, Facebook, obviously, which owns Instagram, is letting a lot of misinformation, a lot of bad information uh, allow to remain posted on these apps. And it's, uh, you know, it's uh, spreading bad information, false information. People then vote a different way. People think stories are true that actually aren't true. So this, these group of celebrities have banded together with another group that uh, is focused on stopping hate on the internet. And um, they are going to try and hit Instagram and Facebook in their pocketbooks by not posting for a day. So uh, again, Ooh. all these big celebrities. Uh, One day. You know, yeah, what, right. So it remains to be seen what type of imp, uh, you know, impact that has. I don't know that it's going to have any impact. Uh, Facebook is worth, obviously, you know, billions and billions of dollars. I don't know that one day, um, you know, from a few celebrities not posting is going to have any impact. But we'll see. It seems like their hearts are in the right place. Mm -hmm. And this freeze is going to happen. Oh, good. Well, the All truth right. is definitely worth uh, a freeze for at least one day. We want to see if it makes a difference. Yeah, I, I, I like Instagram. I like Facebook. I like it all. And, you know, I like to see what just my friends are doing. You know, yeah. it's not like I'm technically looking just for celebrities. No. I'm catching up with my mom, my yeah. nephews, yeah. my friends, you know. Right. right. It's a way for everybody to stay connected, not necessarily, yeah. fo you know, follow Kim Kardashian. So. Right. right. Although that is fun. And without that, we right. would all not have jobs. <laughs> <true>. So... <laughs> And now we're not going to be able to watch her on Keeping Up with the Kardashians, so that's the only yeah. place you're going to be able to get Kim and the rest of the uh, Jenners and Kardashians. Yeah, that by the true. way, Michael, I read an article that said that Chloe and Scott Disick were the ones wanting to keep it going for an easy paycheck. Right. It, oh, I believe that. And I, I think Kim was probably on the other side who has seen her marriage fall apart. She's not living with her husband. Yeah. And Can you know what? Also, and I know we're, we're getting close on time, but they have it used to be they could promote products and promote their businesses through keeping up with the kardashians now their social media uh, accounts and their presence is so large and so powerful they believe that they can make more money push more products on social media they don't need the uh, television anymore so that was a big part of it also well they're smart they've done so well in business i i you know I, I kind of trust their instincts, so yeah. I yes. bet they'll be fine. Yeah, they'll be fine. And I think they'll be back, too. They'll be back. <laughs> I guarantee you they yeah. will. <laughs> All right. Michael, thank, thank you, you so much. much. We have I a song for you song next, week. next week. Yes, Please. the song is I coming. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. We just got to so rehearse. Much, Bye. See have you a great see next week. Thank you. Bye, Bye, Bye guys. Right. We you love him. You can catch TMZ weekdays at 5 p.m. and TMZ Live weeknights at 12.30 a.m. Yes. That's right. Okay. Oh. We'll be back with so much more fun right after this. He said we were his favorite. I heard it. Uh, he said it. Although I can't hear anything right now. Oh, are you, are you, are you deaf? Yeah.